Hi guys, I uh, just want to show a couple of gadgets I've got for going back to Spain. Uh, first one is one that, a Fitbit charger, uh, Charge 2. Uh, I haven't even opened it yet. I've just undone the bottom so we can open it. I was surprised that Amazon actually delivered on Sunday, so I was happy with that. So let's have a look at it. So let's call it. This will be an unboxing video. I have something else uh, I'll add on to the end of this just for those that are not interested in what's coming up next, but this. Uh, first thing is, how do I open it up? Ah, it's, it's got magnetic sides on it. It's got a little, got a little strap here. Uh, these come in more than one size as well. That's an important one because I tell you now, my arm wouldn't fit in a small one. Just see if it fits my wrist first. That's the first test if it's any good or not. Okay, so that's all right. See, the thing was, um, I was looking to get in a new watch, and I thought for what this costs, it's 120 pounds, and it's got um, like your motion tracker in a sense of your fitness stuff, plus a heart monitor, plus your sleep monitoring, all that sort of stuff. I thought, you know what, I'll get one of these. I'll try one of these instead of a normal watch for a change. Um, 119 pounds from Amazon. Couldn't grumble. Uh, what's this? Okay, let's open this box. Fitbit, oh, that's, so that's a setup guide, I think. Let's have a look. Okay, so you got instructions, warranty, all that sort of stuff. Nice little envelope for it. And then we've got another box in here. Okay, so what's in here? It's taped again. They put these tapes on, but lucky enough, they don't actually rip the box, which is nice. Um, you got your charger cable. It looks like a docking docking station of sorts. Ah, so it's, it like clips on. So how does that work? Let's take this off. There's a double clip on here, which is something I haven't had before. Which, as you can see. A little bit awkward. It's in there. You see, there's another clip in there, so it sort of keeps the strap locked, so it won't come off off your wrist easily. Um, I'll take that off now. Double wrapped, and that's the the connector. It's got two pins on there. I don't know if you can see it with the light. There's a couple of pins on there, on the bottom there. You've got your pin, so that just lines up like that. So you've got this, the actual button actually lines up with a hole, so you know you're in the right place. Clips in, pretty robust, it's not sliding around in there. And I put you on charge, connect up to your laptop or whatever, and away you go. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying this, and the reason I'm doing a video up front is I'm not going to do a review of it for about another week. The reason being is, I'm going to test it this week and then see how good it is. So, just switched it on for the first time. It's going to look for the phone. I haven't set the phone up yet. So, yeah, set up. Fitbit.com setup. He's asking me to set it up. So, yeah, just wanted to show that to you. Uh, that's one of the gadgets going back to Spain with. Um, also for work, you know, honestly, because I don't get enough exercise when I'm working because I just like another five minutes, I'll just do another bit of work, another bit of work. And then by the time it's finished, it's like 10 o'clock at night and I should have gone for like at least half an hour walk and haven't done it. This is going to help make sure I do do it. Now, the other thing I bought, which if you're going to Spain, this is quite useful because TV, um, TV is a bit interesting in the sense that there's not a lot to watch. Um, I'm, it's not that I'm anti-Spanish on the Spanish TV, it's just I'm not a big fan of game shows or, uh, what do you call it, uh, you know, like soap operas. I don't watch those stuff. I like the documentaries and I, I like watching the, um, the Guardia uh, and the local police doing their stuff. That's quite interesting sometimes and uh, customs officials, that's about it. Um, and stuff that's going on in the local area, which which is interesting. 
but I basically bought the new a new Amazon Fire Stick. Um, I got the new one with the where you uh, press that and you can speak to it. What did I find? Well, I found so far it doesn't recognize half the stuff I asked for, but I don't know. It seems to be normal, you know, when you when you talk to things and uh, like when you tell your phone dial Dave and it will dial Fred or something. So it's yeah, temperamental. But I don't know if it's got voice learning because it might improve over time. I'm gonna play with that. But I put Cody on here, so I've had a fair bit to watch. Um, I found it very stable. I didn't didn't get any cutting out. My brother's got the older version, which doesn't have the the new um, voice. Because all you do is you hold that button, speak to it, and say like, uh, find, find uh, I don't know, a name of a movie, and it'll it'll find it. Um, so. Yeah, that's, he hasn't got that, but I do find his locks up from time to time. This one, I never had that problem yet. <laughs> yet. They do seem to be making these things more secure, and their updates seem to be a bit more regular, so I do think they're, they're doing some stuff with that. Um, regards my drone, my drone is already on its way to Spain. I actually got it delivered to Spain. Um, I'm going for the Phantom 3 standard, uh, as my friend over at... Um, Expat and Mazaron recommended because uh, I, I couldn't justify getting the four and I couldn't justify getting the um, or oh, what's the new one the new DJI one I couldn't actually turn around and justify the expense on it so I got one for 350 pounds uh, 360 including the delivery um, and just sent it straight to Spain I'll pick that up when I go home so I'm looking forward to getting the drone out and I'm um, Got to fix the other one as well because obviously we've got the two, so should be some old stuff coming up. Uh, April's off to look at a new house as well now. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm up to. I'm going to try this Fitbit tonight, see how it monitors my sleep and stuff, and see how we get on. But yeah, I'm going to give this a week, see how it works, see if it actually gets me uh, being a bit more active in the sense of making me do stuff. Which I normally find the, the motivation comes from knowing you have to do it if it's like another 20 steps or whatever. That's the same problem I have with work, you see. Is I get like a document that's like now, I've done 700 lines of data in the last two days and I've still got half of it to do. So like that, I'm going to sit here and probably work till 11 o'clock tonight to do more. Um, should I? Am I getting paid for it? The answer is no. But... It's bugging me that it's not finished. <laughs> Alright guys, catch you later. But yeah, that's my new Fitbit. Looking forward to that. And I'm just having this little splurge of expense for now. Uh, we may also be moving house. Uh, but I'll update if if something develops on that. April's going to have a look at a house today. Um, but all good. And thanks for watching.